First, I want to uh, thank Councilmember Reyes for working on this for so long. Sometimes it takes a long time to do things proper and better. Um, again, I, I really don't like it when we, as, as council members here, or when I was in the legislature, when we take other people's information at face value and we don't look into it. Uh, I'm glad to see that uh, a lot has gone into this. We're actually double checking things. We're looking into things to try to figure out how Los Angeles can actually do something and do it right. Uh, one of the uh, people commented from the public about uh, acting. See, that's one of the problems that Americans have with politicians. Sometimes politicians are just actors. They act like they're actually getting something done, but really they're not. And the fact of the matter is, I want to say thank you to Councilmember Reyes because what we're forcing our staff to do in our city to do by, uh, oh my gosh, delaying this beyond implementing it tomorrow is that we're asking our staff to go ahead and and do things right so that when we do implement the first phase in, in July 1st of 2009, we're actually doing something correct, which means we're hopefully in actually improving the environment around us and globally. And then when we implement another phase in 2010, et cetera, that we're actually doing things right and that we're not just acting, but we're actually doing things that are supposed to improve the environment. So that's why it's really important for us to understand that yes, sometimes things take a long time and sometimes we might get some tremendous headlines by saying the city of Los Angeles is the first big city to do X. But really we didn't do anything but pass something on paper and we didn't even do something that's actually going to have the outcome that we fooled the public into thinking. So that's what, one thing I want to point out, that my objections earlier in reminding the public and ourselves that we have to be diligent about doing this right. And I believe that with the amendments that we put in today and also with all the work that's gone into it so far, we're actually doing something better than any other county or city has done in the past. Because they've got tremendous headlines, but when you look underneath the surface, you start to realize that they're really not following what they're doing, like Santa Monica. Santa Monica isn't even finding out what, whether or not what they did is even working or not. And I'll, I'll state that publicly on the record. People, of, uh, officials in Santa Monica want to come and debate that with us. I look forward to it. Um, in addition to that, I think it's important for people to understand that when you do something like this, we're dealing with, unfortunately, human habits human habits. It's going to take education, it's going to take a change in infrastructure, and also as legislators we need to understand, and uh, rightfully so, the chairman of the budget committee is always constantly reminding us how we're going to fund this. There's going to have to be resources put into this if we're going to do it right. So with that amount of time and honesty from, from our staff and giving them the opportunity to be honest with us, we're going to be faced with critical decisions along the way to find the resources, to put it where it belongs, to change our infrastructure, to educate ourselves and the public, and we're going to have a better system for it. So once again, thank you, Councilmember uh, Reyes, for not giving up and keeping going, and thank you for resisting trying to do this and implement it literally tomorrow. This is the right way to do it. Thank you.